Time. I'm just working on some stuff for the show. So I'm Todd Davis with Laughing Ghost Studios and welcome to Artist Spotlight. This is our humble abode. We live in a condo out here in the Chicagoland area and we don't have a ton of room so whenever I'm getting ready for a show, whatever I have finished typically ends up in our living space just like these are on top of the living room bookshelf. Starting with Queen of Hearts, an old favorite. This one may or may not be at the show. Someone's interested in buying it, so we'll see what happens with that. Man in the Moon, you probably have seen online, maybe Instagram or Facebook. I'm excited for everybody to see that in person. And the old Pie Swiper. Now, this is the last of the Pie Swipers. There won't be any more made because the mold is worn out, so bring your credit cards, boys and girls. If you act fast, it might be yours. Now, if you follow me over to the fireplace here, I've got a couple other new things I'm gonna bring to the show. You might recognize this from Mass Festa 2019, but this is actually a brand new Humpty Dumpty. The original one was more of what you might call an eggshell white, whereas this one is a brighter white with red cheeks and freckles. I also had to make a new wall because the one from 2019 got destroyed by cats. Another new piece I'm excited to show this year is Dirty Rotten Filthy Stinking Rich from the band Warren's album cover. Fun fact about this piece, the guitar player from Warrant, Eric Turner, owns one and has it at his house. So, would you like to go to my workspace and see a couple new things I'm working on? Okay, follow me this way to the lab and let's see what's on the slab. So as we go down the hallway, I want to point out our Halloween paintings. These are done by Lou Pranzik from 1031 Studios, who you might also recognize from Mask Fest. Now right inside here in this little room, this is where the magic happens. Come on in! Now this is the studio part of Laughing Go Studios, where I do my sculpting, molding, casting, painting. Every piece I've ever done has been made inside this room. Right now, I'm working on this for the show. This is uh, my version of a toy that I loved as a kid called a Mad Ball. The original reference, which is something more of a simple sculpture from the 80s, and I've kind of punched up the detail and gave it my own little flavor here. So now whenever I need to stand up and see all the way around and it's a bigger sculpture, I take it over here to my main sculpting table where I've got Mr. Augustus Gloop in progress. So I'm sculpting Augustus exactly the same way he was described in the book where Roald Dahl, the author of Charlie and Chocolate Factory, describes Augustus as if he's been blown up with a great pump and he's kind of bulging out everywhere. So that's what I'm going for. He will have a lollipop and his little chocolate bar, which will be made of resin. And then I've got a replica Wonka wrapper that'll go on that. So. Once the sculpture is finished, I take them over to, right behind you here, this little cart, which rolls out and becomes my molding table. And then after the sculpture is molded and the mold is cleaned out and the mold goes back on here and it becomes my casting table. This is an armature for a future piece. This is a yoga ball covered in plaster and tape because I'm going to sculpt Violet Beauregard turning into a blueberry on that yoga ball. Now, once I have a latex casting that I'm happy with and it's ready to be painted, it comes over here to my painting table where I've got my airbrushes hooked up, regular paint brushes, paint, notes, lights, air compressor down there, hair dryer, everything I need to do a paint job and sit here for days on end. And that's why I have another TV with a bunch of DVDs. I'm a DVD guy. I prefer them over the worldwide interwebs. Well, I'm going to keep on trucking here, but thanks for stopping by, and I will see you in August.